guys, um, I just wanted to get on here today and talk about my struggles with weight, um, and, like, body image and stuff like that, as you know, um, I'm, I'm Latino, Latinos are, I don't know any other way to put it, but we're thick. Like, I I don't know what type of genetic or environmental predispositions we have to be in thick, but we're thick. Like, and, like, I'm no exception. Like, I, <laughs> even, even when I'm, like, thin, skinny, like I am now, I still have, like, a huge butt bro like proportionally like my butt is now it helps that i really don't have legs obviously but like yeah and so and like my dad was obese for almost his entire life he's lost a lot of weight now that he's later in his life but yeah like (laughs) <laughs> and my mom was not really that way, but she still was just stocky. Now, my dad was tall, and he was uh, fat. And so you can imagine that combination, right, with with me. And me, obviously, not being able, as a kid, not being able to do that much physical activity. Um... Oh, but yeah, that was not a good combination, bro, brothers and sisters, especially not with, with pan dulce and tamales and, and all of that stuff, my, my friends, but also, I gotta be honest, um, at school, I was given extra food because the lunch ladies thought I was so cute. Um, and I think that's honestly because, like, none of them had seen a Latino person that looked like me. Like, they didn't... Because re- I had, like, blonde hair, guys, when I was little and, like, uh, if you think I'm pale now, back then, like, <laughs> I was just, like, super, super passing, brothers and sisters, and, like, yeah, I got extra food from the lunch ladies out of it, <laughs> and it's hilarious, bro, because, like I said, my dad is dark, like, it's my mom that's not, but, yeah, anyway, that also contributed to, like, me getting chunky as a kid, like, and especially the portion sizes in the, in the United States are, they're just outrageous, literally, um, and so, yeah, man, I combine with all those factors, I, I got chunky and like, I, I mentioned this before briefly, but I was never made fun of directly because no one wanted to make fun of the wheelchair kid, um, right to his face. But yeah, I would get called fat, chubby, like I would overhear things a lot, um. And, you know, that way in which kids tell each other things, right? Even though, supposedly in secret, even though the person is right there next to them and can hear them clearly. Um, and, honestly, combined with my disability, I got really jealous of the boys that got girls' attention and stuff like that, like... There was this one dude in, like, my third and fourth grade classes. I'll just call him S. I don't want to use his real name. But, bro, he was 
he was like a Chad, basically. All of the girls wanted him. He had a haircut like Jesse McCartney, and uh, but but like yeah, he was athletic. He was thin, and I was not. Um, and I I don't know, man. Just that if you're a fat kid, you know what it's like to be a fat kid, I don't even know what else I have to say, like, the difference in treatment is, is crazy, um, but the thing is, that I've also struggled with the opposite, where I've been, like, super duper, like, dangerously thin, um, now, I'm a small guy, dude. Like, I wasn't... I didn't break the five-foot barrier until... Basically, the end of sixth grade, if you can believe that. Um... And I'm still short, so, like... When I got skinny, finally, which is funny, my obese dad put me on a diet, and... That, um, I lost weight in a very healthy manner, thanks to him. Uh, so, remember guys, in a, a lot of the times, fat people know they're fat. You don't have to keep reminding them. All that does is push them away most of the times. But, um... Yeah, but when I got thin, I got super thin for some reason. My body was really good at keeping off that fat once I started lifting. And puberty probably had a lot to do with it too, right? Um, But, yeah, but then the thing is, I got into an operation and where I had to go under the knife from for my things related to my disability and brothers and sisters I was I was literally a skeleton I was 60 pounds at like five foot two that's that's like I was basically a ghost brothers and sisters like when And I still remember this. In the hospital, the day the nurses weighed me, they they literally couldn't believe what they were reading. They could not believe it. Um. And it took me, like, almost a year to get back up to a normal weight working out and eating lots of food and um but yeah I've I also I've never had any sort of disorder in relation to that but I I I would be lying if I said that again the difference in treatment from people uh going from fat to skinny was way different, and also, um, if I didn't struggle with that, like, I already struggled with my disability, and the way I look generally, but yeah, I, I, you can best believe that I also struggled with that, alright guys, thanks for listening to my, uh, to my, uh, struggles.